guys, it's Tom Box here, and uh, today's video is actually about mats and cloth mats and their trends. See, there are different variations in cloth mats that you can get in terms of how they are produced. We have the inked variations, where there is, well, basically a base cloth, and uh, basically screen printed on, painted on. Uh, they have the, well, the design, and uh, you can actually feel it. It feels very different. It's much rougher compared to the cloth but uh, it is one of the variations available to you guys to purchase. It is a very common thing, especially for Spellgrounds and Imperium, we have that available. But in terms of other variations that you can get that does not have that ink feeling, because sometimes you just don't want that ink feeling, you want to have a smooth flow when you spread your cards out, then you would go with the embossed type mats, which would be the Pro Editions from Imperium. And uh, I believe Spellgrounds also have started doing this. Uh, especially with their later renditions of Spellground. These ones, there's no ink, and the comparison would be that this is like an ultimate rare kind of deal. If you guys know Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate rares are embossed cards. They are very, very pretty. And these are also very pretty. Now, these ones do black color because you're basically searing off the design uh, into the fibers, and then, then therefore there is no ink, therefore you can't even wash these. But of course you lack color, there's no color. You, you get an invert, or uh, basically the design is uh, an outline of what it is. Now for the final variation, you have this one here, full color mats. Is this a rubber mat? No, well, I have a rubber mat right here. This is a rubber mat. This is my Trishula rubber mat from my very first MOS that I designed as a prize. And this one's rubber, and you can feel it, it makes these weird noises. And uh, overall, the corners will eventually start to fray pretty easily, and over long exposure and use, it will get pretty damaged. Of course, the newer renditions of rubber mats do have a bit of a, a seam around the edge to prevent that. But can we actually have full color cloth mats? Well, this is it. This is a full color cloth mat. I sent this design to Imperium Duos to test them to see whether or not they're capable of producing a new line of product. Imperium Duelists aren't the only guys doing it. Uh, there are other companies that are also popping up. So this is the design. We're gonna take a closer look here. So there's only really a couple things to really uh, pay attention to. First of all, is the cloth smooth? Yes, it is very smooth, it is very soft. Um, one thing about it is, okay, underneath here, I have some of the other mats here. These are the untreated mats, and these ones actually feel softer than, well, this one here. This mat feels different. I wouldn't say different is bad, but it's definitely not as soft as uh, the untreated mats. This is probably due to the dyeing process. It does add, I guess, additional matter onto the fiber, so it doesn't feel as soft, but it is a very smooth. The smoothness is the same. So I'm gonna fan out some cards just to kind of give you an example. Like this fans out pretty easily. There is no problem fanning out any cards. So you can fan and collect, and you don't have to worry about any kind of ink because there is no ink. There's nothing to scratch off or on. It is just a smooth piece of cloth. And I guess one of the other thing to look at would be the detail of the artwork. How detailed can they actually make these? Because, you know, uh, it could look very blurry. Maybe I'm just using an optical illusion for you guys. So, you know, I'm going to zoom into the Ghost Reaper side since I know the size of these mats. Uh, these are about 8,100 by 8,100 pixels at 300 DPI. So it's very large. It's like uh, a couple hundred megabytes in terms of file size. And can I actually do manual focus here? Zoom in and focus in. So that's about how sharp the lines would be. And over as well, the lines are very sharp. All the details are really just all there. And what about the backgrounds? Now let's get a focus on this. Very, very sharp. So let's actually come back to uh, where we were. So this mat, I hope you guys like it. This is the who, of course, my original artwork. I painted these both on stream. Hey guys, you know what? I really like the design of this mat. If you guys like the design of this mat and you want a copy yourself, hit that like button so I know you guys want this in production. And if it goes in production, I don't know, 400 likes, 300 likes, I don't know. And uh, yeah, it will go in production and I'll make sure you guys get a good deal on this. 
So after getting a thorough look at these mats, uh, what are your thoughts right now? Like, first of all, I wonder if Konami should actually go into creating full color cloth mats. This is a possibility, but it does increase the cost of creating these mats. But these mats have overall much more demand. It is very much a lot cheaper to produce one of these in comparison to creating one of these. That is guaranteed because of uh, uh, material and rubber mats are relatively cheap. I've actually looked into this. I can't really give you any, any details, but I have looked into this. And as for full color cloth mats, now they can actually have their card design printed on a piece of cloth. But there is one disadvantage that is I won't wash these. I can't wash these. I'm very scared that um, the dye will start to fade. And I actually predict that it will fade because over long exposures of washing, do laundry detergent and everything, uh, things do wash out and uh, there's a possibility that your mats will wash out if you get them dirty. But anyways, that is all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit me up with a thumbs up and I'm going to proceed to the uh, end phase. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV and I'll see you next time.